Oh yeah, that's right This is Saf's life Oh yeah, that's right Oh yeah, this is Saf's life Good morning everyone, Assalamu alaikum Welcome to another vlog So today I have work, it is like half seven in the morning right now Let me just check that actually because I'm going to be late otherwise it's uh, 7.36, I've got work at 8 so I gotta leave right now um, basically today is Thursday I don't even know what date it is the 26th, 27th 27th of May and Elisa is at school for the last day until half term half term? I don't even know basically she's got a week off next week um, so today's her last day um, I don't even know what's happening really to be honest I'm just getting ready for work and then I'm gonna go but yeah I just thought I would vlog today because I haven't vlogged for a few days now I've been so slack with my video since the end of Ramadan like everything's just been crazy hectic and mad so yeah today I've got work until 12 or 12 30 I can't remember and then I've got to go to get Issa from nursery and then I gotta go um, I don't even know what I'm going to do after that. I think I'm go I've got to go and sort some sweatshirt orders out because I have started selling my free Palestine ones. These ones right here. And they are £28. If you want to order them, then email selfslifesales at hotmail.com and you will get sent the payment information. And then once you get sent that, you make your payment and then reply with your address and then it will get sent out as soon as possible. Like, I have a few sizes in stock ready to go, but um, there are some sizes, like, we don't have small at the moment, so if you order a small, it will take a bit longer, but it depends on what you order. But 80% of the profits are actually going to go to Palestinian charities. I'm not sure exactly which ones yet. I need to do some proper research and find out which one I'm going to send it to. If you guys have any suggestions on good Palestinian charities that don't, like... You know they don't profit from them themselves kind of thing like i just want all of the money that i send to go to palestine and help the palestinian people so if you guys have any recommendations for good palestinian charities let me know in the comments below I've kind of just been busy kind of sorting all of that out and um a load more stuff still got my decorations up my sofa is so comfortable i've got like throws all over it because i don't want the kids to ruin it anyway i've got to head to work now because Otherwise, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> so I just wanted to ask you guys for a little favor. Basically, I uploaded a reel yesterday on Instagram and I got a few comments saying that those companies weren't actually boycott. I did, it was basically a boycott list that I was going by and a few of them weren't actually Israeli companies. So I'm finding it really hard to kind of know what to boycott at the moment. So if you guys have any kind of information or anything like that about what companies to boycott, like where to find that kind of information, then let me know in the comments of this video. Like flood my comments with places where I can get information and you know, what I've asked you for before and things like that. Because I kind of, I wanna know these things. I'm finding it really hard to find that information without knowing if it's the right or wrong information. A lot of places are saying that Starbucks and M&S are on the boycott list. And because I've heard so much about that in the past, I kind of just thought that they were, I assume that they are on the boycott list and then people are telling me that they're not so I'm just really confused as to whether they are or whether they're not on the boycott list so if you guys know where I can get some like honest truthful information about this then please let me know and um, I would really appreciate that because I'm just finding it really hard to find information <laughs> also let me know what companies you are boycotting um, but you know, if M&S and Starbucks weren't on the boycott list, then I would be literally over the moon about that. Because you guys know how much I love M&S and Starbucks. And the fact that I can't go there anymore just makes me really sad. But if they're not, like the person said on my comments yesterday, then I will be so happy. Um, right now, I am currently just... I finished work a little bit early today. I thought I finished at half 12, but I actually finished at half 11 so i've got an hour to kill so and it is a beautiful day it's so sunny outside and so gorgeous so um i'm going home to get changed i'm going to put some nice summery clothes on because i'm dressed all in black cardigan on everything like that 
not at the moment because it's just too hot to drive in my cardigan. I'm gonna go and get changed and get ready to go and get Issa. And then I don't really know what I'm gonna do after that. Also, are you guys following me on Instagram yet? Like if you're not, then you really should because I post a lot. Um, right now I'm posting a lot about Palestine. Um, like we just need to keep sharing things because it's just spreading awareness. Like a lot of people, since they mentioned the ceasefire, a lot of people have stopped posting and um, sharing things about Palestine. And um, I think that was like one of the ways that they try to silence people is by announcing a ceasefire. And then the next day, literally less than 24 hours later, they attacked the mosque. So I feel like it was just a way for them to kind of make people stop posting and be like oh okay they're actually stopping it now so if you have stopped posting then carry on posting and just sharing everything like read through things and make sure that it's like relevant information before you do share it because we don't want to be like spreading false information do you know what i mean a really good account on instagram to follow uh let me just tell you a few that i have been sharing things from there's one called Free Palestine 1948. There's one called The Real McCoy. I like the stuff that they post, it's really good. The main one that I'm following, which updates you so often, is i.on.palestine. It's a really good one to follow, they post a lot. And then there's an account called Kinda underscore Halal, and she posts a lot on hers. But there's so many different ones that you can follow, so if you wanna go and follow some of those then, that would be great and just share things that they're um, doing like there's this post here and it's basically talking about um, boycotting why you boycott so you buy Israeli produce they make more profits more tax revenue and then it says uh, more Israeli bullets more rockets more Palestinians killed more um, depossessed from their land or and then more Israeli land more seeds planted and then it's like a circle kind of cycle thing but anyway that is some of the accounts that I'm following and you should follow too. Hanifa's here. Hello, so it's we are having, <laughs> it has been a while. So we are having a little um, meeting today. And we've, I basically went to Lidl and bought a load of crap because, <laughs> because I can. <laughs> I've got no scarf on right now, so this is why I'm not showing myself. Maya's here. Who's that? Imani, <laughs> Issa. Uh, Isa, what, did I just say Isa? <laughs> I don't know. Why I'm just so lost. Luna, Elisa, and Lilies! Lilies! Oh, yeah, that's right. This is Saf's life. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. This is Saf's life.